Happy. I think I love my wife. Chris Rock plays a man torn between his wife and his overactive imagination. Let's put it like that. His wandering <laughs> eye sets on one particular lady that's sitting across from me right now, played by Carrie Washington. There she is. She made her mark in movies like Ray. Remember her in that? Yeah. Ray. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, Ray. and Ray. most recently, The Last King of Scotland. Is that okay? You got it up there? Yes, yeah, I'm good. Okay. We now caught you can you. hear me. We caught you. <laughs> she is now holding her own one of the funniest men in movies, and that's Chris Rock. Carrie, it's so good to meet you. Oh, it's so nice Go to be easy. here. You know, Chris Rock was here earlier this week. <laughs> I heard it was quite the stressful. We're, we're holding on for dear <laughs> life. He was so quick and so yeah, funny. Yeah. He's completely, you would never know what to expect. He's so bright and on it and fast and frightening in that way. <laughs> and how is it when you're working with someone like that? How is it for you? You know, what's really great, I think, about Chris is that he's able to monitor his energy level. You know, when he needs to be at a 20, he can turn the mm -hmm. volume dial up to 20. And then when, as a director, he often turns it down to two. He's always authentically Chris, but he is able yeah. to sort of monitor, ration out his energy. Well, he was very privileged to be working with you as oh, well. Thank um, you. And, and this, this role was a, a little bit different because I look across from you now. You look so sweet oh. and you were anything <laughs> but sweet because my girlfriends and I were watching the movie going, mm, look at her, you know. Good, you know, you good. Know. Yeah, you're not supposed to think that Nikki's sweet. Mm -hmm. She's sort of a tortured soul. And, you know, what I liked about the character when I read it is that she's not your cliche of the other woman. Yeah. You know, she has a lot of insecurity and a lot of fear and that's what sort of propels her into this slight inappropriate behavior. There's a reason behind it. Yes. It's just not arbitrary. Right. She's, She's afraid of being alone mm -hmm. in a lot of ways. So she acts out in ways that are destructive to another person's life. But uh, yeah. yeah, that's one way of putting it. Well, let's play a little bit of the clip. And to yeah. set it up, Nikki, your character, you're challenging Chris Rock's character about um, his marriage. Yes. Challenging him just a little bit. Here's a look. Richard Marcus Cooper is married. Tied the knot till death do you part. Mm -hmm. Something strange about that? No, just not the Richie I knew. People change. Hmm. You happily married? Yeah, I'm, I'm happily married. No, you're not. You didn't say it right. Oh, looking for something. Didn't say it right. Why are you cringing a little bit? <laughs> it's it, because she's she it's she makes me uncomfortable. Because it's 180 <laughs> from who you are. Yeah, yeah, and she's just yes, she makes me uncomfortable to watch. She does, which is good, yeah, I guess. Yeah, good act. Yeah. You know, I heard that you said, which is so cute, because you were in Ray, yes. and Jamie Foxx wins the Oscar. Mm -hmm. You play his wife. You were in Last King of Scotland. <laughs> yes. Forrest Whitaker wins the Oscar. Yes. You play his wife. So the feeling was, if you played the wife instead of the other, the temptress here, that, you know, maybe Chris Rock would have gotten an Oscar he, out of this. He could have, but he <laughs> passed up his opportunity. <laughs> but you are a good luck charm. I think maybe I mean these you know that's not to take anything away from these sure. incredibly talented men I mean Forrest and Jamie are, are absolute mm -hmm. talents in their own right but I'm just hoping to get more work out of that rumor that if you cast me to play your wife you might win an Oscar that's a good buzz you know? to put out there yeah. what is next for you Carrie um, I'm actually in the Fantastic Four too, the oh. sequel that comes out this summer which is very exciting mm -hmm. reprising my role as the blind chick Alicia yeah. Masters who's in love with the thing uh, and I start work on another film in LA next week called Cracktown oh, so. So Oh, work is coming along. It is. Good I can't you. complain. Well, you're so talented oh, and so thanks. versatile, and I know we're going to be hearing more and more from you. <laughs> Thank you. And you really are sweet. Unlike Nikki. <laughs> Unlike, Unlike Nikki. Nikki. <laughs> All the best to you. Have thanks. a great weekend.